Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to start talking about some of the ancient structures that were built by people to commemorate the amazing events in the sky, the amazing events in astronomy, especially the summer solstice and the winter solstice. Now, once in a while we look at something and you go, hmm, was this just pure coincidence or they actually planned it this way? And this is one of those examples. If you go to Egypt and you look at the two largest of the pyramids, the Pyramid of Khafre and the Pyramid of Khufu, also known as the Pyramid of Cheops, which was, when it was first constructed, had a height of 146.5 meters, which was over 500 feet tall. Now, of course, because of the destruction and the plundering and all that, it's only about 138 meters at the top. And the base was 230.4 meters squared, so it was this enormous structure. And then we have one that was almost as large. And in between, not exactly on the line in between, but somewhat in ahead of that, somewhat closer to the town than the two pyramids were, they built a sphinx. And it turns out, if you position yourself right between the two pyramids at a triangular position like that, where the sphinx is right there in front of you, and you wait until the sun sets on the summer solstice, it then looks as if the sun illuminates the sphinx from behind, almost builds a crown around it, and it's just quite a sight to be able to see that. Haven't seen it yet in real life, I've only seen pictures of it, but it looks fantastic. And again, you look at that and you see they built these enormous structures with specific purpose of aligning themselves with these special events in the sky. So at summer solstice, the sun is directly behind, us, behind the Sphinx, just lightening it up. And again, it would be one of those events where you say that's the end of the summer, now the winter is starting. Although in Egypt, the difference between summer and winter, of course, temperature-wise, is not as great as it is in some of the other places, but definitely the, the seasons were affected by the rainfall and the amount of water coming down the Nile and the time that it would be to plant the, the crops along the River Nile as it flooded and, and then, of course, uh, made everything very fertile in that Nile Valley. And again, knowing those days and being aware of those days would be par paramount in the survival of any society. So, there you go. Some amazing structures built very long time ago, again, along the lines of where the summer solstice and the winter solstice happened, in this case, the summer solstice in Egypt at the pyramids.